eventually convicted of some serious crimes. Uh, what, was, what was your first bust? I mean, what was the first episode where you were arrested for some of the things you were doing? Oh, shit, I got, when I was a kid, it was for car. Yeah. And, uh, no, but I mean serious arrest. This was after you started burglarizing and, and uh, doing armed robberies, right? Yeah, but later in years, my the convictions were more serious than the minor ones when I was younger. I, I mean, I did a, a few years here and there in the House of Correction and the county jail, but they weren't uh, felonies. They had them reduced. I see. I had a couple arson cases and stuff like that. Everything was reduced. And uh, in later years, that's when the crimes got bad. The raps got bad, I should say. Yeah. Um, you, you tell a story in, in your book, I believe, about how um, a, a policeman, I believe it was 11th and State, you went there and, and there was some kind of an incident with the police, the way yeah. they treated people at that time. What years were these? Uh, just for the audience's Shit, information, the 60s or? 60s, okay. or real early 60s. Early 60s. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit of what happened there? You, you had mentioned about uh, the treatment that the police had given people at that time. We used to go on the bank route mm -hmm. then, and uh, one time we went to lay on the sky, and we weren't there to rob him, and uh, he wound up thinking he was going to get robbed and threw the money at us. <laughs> so we took off with the money, and... Uh, was just laying there, you know. Yeah. And somebody took our plate number down. We had a legitimate car. So uh, within a few days, the car disappeared. We, make the, we made the car disappear because we knew they took the plate. And the guy that owned the car, he took off. And they arrested me. I see. And they brought me to 11th and State. Which was a police uh, it was headquarters. their headquarters yeah. in okay. downtown Chicago. In downtown Chicago, right. And they brought me upstairs to this room, these two cops. One of his name was Durso, and they uh, handcuffed me to the chair, and they start beating me on the head with phone books and everything, you know. And then uh, this one cop, older man, comes in the room and he says, "How you doing?" And I thought he was talking to me, which I'm sure he was. And I said, "I'm doing all right." And he said, "Who the fuck's talking to you?" And he whacks me in the head with the phone book and starts screaming and punching me, and they all start punching me. Then he says, "Throw this guy at the window if you don't want to talk." Well, they had me handcuffed in back, and uh, they hung me out the window. And I'm looking down, and I'm thinking, me. But I thought in my mind, I got the cuffs on me. If I see, feel they're releasing the cuffs, then I know it's all over. You're gonna drop me. Anybody in their right mind ain't gonna jump out of 11 stories with cuffs on them. <laughs> right. So right. I knew I wasn't gonna die. Yeah. Then they stuck some cattle prongs on me. You know. They set what on you? Cattle prongs, you know, oh the things God. they use on they the did. animals. Yeah. So they gave you electric on shock, basically. Yeah. Yeah. On your testicles. Yeah. Oh, good police work, I guess, huh? I had so, to uh, say. <laughs> but now in later years, you ran into these guys, or one of them or something, didn't you? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah. In, in the in, penitentiary. In the penitentiary, because eventually they were busted for something. Murder. Really? They were busted for murder. They killed a drug dealer. They were they were muscle in a drug dealer. So what was it like when you saw them in there after all these years? Because, I mean, you they had definitely treated you horrible. I knew they horrible. had to pay. Yeah. I knew they had to pay. Yeah. And uh, I made I made the one guy pay. You did. And the other guy, you what, left alone? He was alone? a pretty good guy. Oh, yeah. He was an Italian guy. And he really didn't do too much that day in, a, you know, in the lockup. So the mean guy you, you got even with. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you did some time in the in the penitentiary, and there was something about the goon squad. What what was that about? Could you elaborate on yeah, that? Yeah, uh, I worked in a psychiatric division. That's for the criminally insane. And uh, it was a soft job. It was in the front end, and uh, we got special privileges. But we had to uh, restrain the criminally insane when they went through fits, you know, and they used to go through fits. Right. And then they send up these baby rapers and stuff like that. Uh. And then we used to beat the shit out of them, you know. And uh, I mean, we abused these guys big time. And I spent uh, a couple of years up there in the goon squad. And then we used to have to go into cells and restrain them. They'd rip the toilet bowl out with feces in there, throw it at us. We had shields, you know. We had the keys to the cells. The guard used to hide in the other room. He was scared. And we used to go in there and beat the shit out of them. Wow. But basically, that was actually a good job in the sense that you 
were out of the main population or you had a better job than, than No, the that was the best job you could get. Yeah. Okay. Just got a guy. What you got it was a bad reputation. You were like called a cop. Yeah, I see, because you were basically Because we had to go into walls sometimes right. and grab guys out of their cells. Right. I didn't care what they thought about me. I wanted to live nice. Exactly.